seems to be a fine line between coincidence and irony. You sure about that map? Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited. And yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational. between stupid and charming with you, is there? <laughs> Thus did King Arthur gather round his person ye greatest knights of ye realm, that they might be paragons of chivalry and virtue. Gaily they capest, yea, and was an assembly as hadst not before been seeneth, and verily there was much rejoicing. Hey, push the button again. It's like electroshock therapy for Alice there. I like to think it keeps him sharp. Taking notes. Yeah, verily. Behold ye holy grail. Such a vision of yon cup of Christ didst verily appeareth to Arthur and his knights, whereupon several amongst them didst quest for to find it anon. And they twere four Lancelot, Galahad, Percival, and Bors. And yonder they journeyed, none e'er returning. Though Galahad did see the grail, and yea, his heart was gladdened muchly. How did they know he found it if he didn't return? Exactly! Really. Never trust the woman? Don't believe in magic.
than it was that both were disarmed, and Arthur did strike Mordred a fatal blow with his spear of Sir Bedivere. But now things more tragedy, for Arthur was himself mortally wounded in ye battle, and yea, yon sky did darken. There's a logical explanation for that. It's called evening. You're so literal, Alistair. Archaeology is half metaphor, you know. Before he did die, Arthur bade us his knight Bedivere to return a thick scalibur to yon lady of ye lake. And lo, did Arthur's body then slumber, and yea, it was borne away to Avalon, where it is said that from thither shall he someday return to claim it again his crown. To be here. Maybe the grunting Saxon or the Roman fascist that Alistair believes the whole legend was built around. Hmm. This is where the truth behind the myth is supposed to be explained. And it's been turned into a warehouse. Fitting. There's been so little truth everywhere else. Why start here? The only factual basis behind the King Arthur myths died centuries before this place was built. Give Professor Worth some credit. If he had to close an exhibit for renovations, at least he picked the most boring one. Hmm. Professor Worth says here that the tomb of King Arthur, the one his museum's built over, is a fake. No surprise there. At least he knows his museum is for tourists. But Professor Worth believed the sarcophagus was placed here by Arthur's contemporaries to lure thieves from the gravesite of the actual King Arthur. Who doesn't exist? That's where you and the Professor differ. This definitely isn't Arthur's tomb. We knew that already. What's wrong with you? I've seen enough tombs in my life to know when I'm looking at a cenotaph. Say who? A diversion. This place is trying too hard. It's hiding something. A body? No. That's the problem. 